you told audiences last year that the specific initiations you plan to give this year at the California retreats, Carlsbad and then Shasta, will build on each other. Could you elaborate on that? I have started the system of prolonging a mantra so as to let the seed and the essence and the power of that mantra assimilate into the chakras and into the deeper mindset of disciples, thereby giving them time, giving the mantra time to assimilate into these subtle and astral body and causal bodies of the disciples. And therefore, when I give a portion of a mantra which is very important, I let it sink into his psychic essence, astral being, his causal being. When it is sunk, I give another portion of that mantra which is very important <clears throat> to complete the first mantra after it's assimilated. And that assimilates in due course and takes its time. So this is, a, I give them a so-called breather. And this is on my responsibility that I give it to them. Because sometimes for people in the Western countries who are foreign to Sanskrit or Hindi or the, or the languages of, of India where mantras are very highly developed, for them to, to get time to assimilate that mantra, I prolong it and stretch it along a passage of time where both portions of the mantras can get after a duration, a gap, be united, assimilate as one mantra and then be beneficial to the evolution of the disciples. That's why the, the breather is given. This is given at the discretion of the Sadhguru or the Master. There are no hard and fast rules in which a Master can teach a particular system of yoga or a mantra or a lay yoga or a tantra. It is at the discretion of the Master and the preparedness of the disciple as to how prepared he is. Sometimes he, if you give the whole long mantra or whole long transmission, he may get spiritual indigestion. To avoid spiritual indigestion, there must be a gap between a certain mantra and then the, key, the, 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 the power mantra, <clears throat> so as to say the crest jewel, should be given after some time, which completes the mantra, helps the person to digest it and go forward in his evolution. Can we ask what the mantra is? With, with the nature of this particular yeah, I tell you what the mantra is, then what will I give at the retreat? <laughs> <laughs> the nature of the mantra. The nature of the mantra is of course a mantra of evolution. It is a mantra invoking the inner God in every human being who comes to me for that mantra, who is ready for that mantra. The degree to which a seeker is ready for the mantra, to that degree will his benefit be. If he comes with a non-believing attitude, the mantra will not affect him. If he comes with faith, it will affect him beautifully. If he comes with total faith, it will have a superb effect on his spiritual evolution and day-to-day -day well-being. That's what the mantra is about. You've been initiating people in California for many, many years. Why now, Shasta? Firstly, from the practical point of view, we were not able to find the proper circumstances or the situation wasn't such that we could go to Shasta. But now with a vaster spread of people knowing what I'm teaching and more work. It has become possible to connect with a vast number of people and get them to this place of Shasta, practically speaking. <clears throat> Spiritually, the time has come where we have to make the push at least a minimum quantum leap, if not the quantum leap. So for a mini quantum leap, 
Shasta seems to be the favorable environment because it is a seat of spiritual evolution. It's a, it's a vortex of energy and that vortex of energy helps the chakras revolve and evolve. 